Hi, I'm Nicole Brookins. I'm the ELA coordinator for the Chambersburg School District. I'm actually working with all 13 elementary buildings this school year with our new ELA purchase. My job is to support the teachers in all of our elementary buildings as they implement our new resource, which is called Open Court Reading. We were very fortunate to find out that we received a lot of ESSERS money to spend on our ELA purchase for the upcoming school year. After many companies visited to look at um, which particular series would best fit our district, we decided to go with open court reading. And what, one of the reasons we went with open court reading was because we really were looking for something very strong in foundational skills so that our kinders through first, second grade would be headed in the right direction on the path to becoming a reader. We also were looking for the consistency piece for our teachers. We wanted to ensure that they had the resources that they needed at their fingertips so they could invest their planning time in preparing the best lessons without having to go hunting and looking for resources to support the classroom instruction. In addition to that, we were looking for the consistency piece so that for our transient students that might move from one building to another within the district, that they would have um, the same materials handed to them when they arrive to a new school or if they happen to move from one school to the other. The one part of Open Court that the committee that decided to go with Open Court really appreciated was the heavy emphasis on foundational skills. And by that, I mean it's very much like a building block. Just as you would build a house, we want to build our readers in a very structured and sequential, sequential manner. Um, one thing that might be surprising for parents is the emphasis on sounds prior to spelling. A lot of times students come to school being very strong in letter naming. They know their letters, but the sounds are always a very big hurdle for early readers. So this is truly a sound to spelling program. We emphasize the sounds in our English language because they're very natural. Learning to speak is very easy for children. And then we move to what is, how is that represented in spelling? What does that look like? Our older readers are also doing a lot of learning how to spell, morphology, understanding prefixes, suffixes, um, understanding through reading of good text, different genres, their comprehension strategies so that they can ultimately comprehend at a very high level. We look forward to seeing the growth in our readers and writers in the K-5 division as we um, go through this first year of implementation of open court reading series. Look forward to feedback from parents. Again, there are digital resources that you may see at home as teachers share books and other games and activities with your child that you can participate in their learning as well at home. Um, we are just really excited to see the growth and um, the enjoyment in learning to read and write with our young students.